It's easy to turn a blind eye to the deluge of Switch ports. Big games already available on PlayStation, Xbox and PC squished down as an afterthought for Nintendo's diminutive hybrid. But it's important to focus on the Switch owner who may not own any other system, and when looked at it in this light, this new version of one of the best rally games, WRC 10, is a worthy addition to the portable roster. What you have here is a serious racing game that is representing the real-world 2021 season of the World Rally Championship. That means a diverse range of point-to-point -point stages where you compete against the clock and the official drivers, teams and locations. The third interpretation of the sport on the Switch, it comes six months after the home console and PC versions, which we thoroughly enjoyed, link in the description to our reviews of those, with several key compromises. There's no WRC eSports online clubs or online multiplayer, which aren't huge losses, but the all new stages in Croatia, Greece, Spain and Belgium make the transition across alongside the livery editor and the new anniversary mode, celebrating 50 years of the sport with historical challenges. Compared to last year's WRC 9 on the Switch, the increase in tracks, cars and challenges is impressive, especially considering that stages from WRC 8 Chile and Wales Rally GB are included too, despite their emissions from the real world 2021 WRC season. Sweden takes the snowy plate of the last-minute COVID-enforced Arctic Rally Finland too. Also looking to last year's Switch release of WRC 9 and 2020's WRC 8, the visuals are for all intents and purposes identical. That means 30 FPS, but with drops when shadows or more detailed environments are driven through. It also sometimes means barren landscapes and jagged edges. The loading times are sadly equally as lethargic too. Still, WRC 10's wide range of time and weather options is mightily impressive on such a compact platform. Dark, stormy conditions one stage, bright sunshine the next. Initially, the handling is razor sharp to the point where you're weaving left and right down the route. Think of it as a form of Formula 1's current porpoising challenge, but instead of up and down, you go side to side. Things are exaggerated even further when trying some of the classic anniversary vehicles thanks to their less than sophisticated drivetrains. This is mainly due to the digital as opposed to analog inputs that hinder any racing game on the Switch that isn't an outlandish arcade style. Balancing throttle, brake and smooth steering inputs is nigh on impossible by hardware design. But somehow, once you've adapted and got past the tricky mix of asphalt and ice during the Monte Carlo stages in the Korea, which returns and is as in-depth as ever with team personnel management, driver training, car upgrades and objectives, and move onto the snow of Sweden or the gravel of Sardinia, you can achieve a rhythm. Rather miraculously, while I'm not going to pretend it's a simulation, on these surfaces I was drifting the car around, tipping it into corners at ludicrous speeds and having fun. Overcoming the learning curve, this is eminently playable. When you're in the zone, the graphical flaws, even in the context of the Switch, melt away. Using the cockpit camera, listening to your co-driver bark the pace notes and beating Mads Ostberg has never felt better on a portable device. I should also mention that by docking the console and using a Pro Controller or a third-party equivalent such as the 8-Bit Do Pro 2 is best, as by default the HD rumble is so strong you're concerned your fingernails might fall off. WRC 10 on the Switch is still brilliant. Just because you can't deliver the same simulation handling as a PC or plug in your PlayStation compatible steering wheel peripheral doesn't mean it's not worthy. Likewise, the sometimes glaringly obvious graphical roughness isn't as much of a deal breaker as you might think it is. Having more focused racing titles on this platform is important for future generations and spreading the word about Rally in general. If I were 10 years old again, I would be yearning for this exact game. The fact the gravel driving experience can be so sweet, that the stage design is so varied and the career so detailed, even including the crossing of tyre compounds, it's the icing on the cake. Heck, the inclusion of replays, changeable weather conditions and a photo mode are added bonuses. It may not be a paradigm shift in Switch visual fidelity, but it's a rewarding, non-karting racing experience you can take on the go, and that means it nails the brief. So those are our thoughts on WRC 10 on the Switch. Are you a Switch player and thinking about picking this up? Or are you already playing it? Let us know in the comment section below. Whatever your rating discipline, please subscribe to the Traction channel if you haven't already, and head over to traction.gg for even more content. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Keep it pinned, and I'll see you next time.